Mortgage rate hits all time low after Fed rescue. If you wanna know everything from living, dining, sleeping, buying and selling here in the Detroit Metro, hit that subscribe and tap the bell because I have new videos coming out weekly and I absolutely love when people call me, text me or email me because they're thinking about buying here in the Detroit Metro. So if you have any plans to buy or sell here in the Detroit Metro, call me, text me, email me, or even send the pigeon carrier because I've got your back. So the average US rate for a 30 year fixed mortgage fell to only 3.23% this week, the lowest ever recorded by Freddie Mac in a series that goes all the way back to 1971. The rate fell 10 basis points from the prior week after the Federal Reserve spent almost a half trillion dollars buying mortgage-backed securities to grease the wheels of the bond market and reassure investors. The new low beat the prior record, the 3.29% recorded in the first week of March by six basis points. And on March 15th, the Fed initially announced it would buy 200 billion of agency um, MBS to keep credit flowing amid COVID-19 fears. After the pandemic worsened in the following days and credit markets began freezing anew, Powell announced on March 23rd the Fed would buy as many bonds as needed to restore functioning. So after spending more than double the $200 billion he initially budgeted, it worked. During a video press conference with reporters on Wednesday, after the end of the central bank's two-day meeting, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell declared the program as an overall success. And it wasn't quite the same as the mission accomplished banner unfurled across the bridge of the aircraft carrier USSS Abraham Lincoln in 03 when President George Bush marked the end of the first phase of the Iraq war, but it was as close as the soft-spoken head of the Fed who follows the tradition of using muted language that won't upset the markets is likely to get. He said our purchases have helped market conditions improve stability in recent weeks. And Powell said on Wednesday, in light of this improvement, we have slowed our pace of purchases. The Fed will continue buying bonds as needed to keep credit markets liquid, Powell told reporters without providing specifics. That indicates that we're unlikely to see anything like the three-day buying spree in late March when the Fed bought $99.9 billion of MBS, according to data provided by Housing uh, Wire. So while home buying demand is still on pause, with most of the US under stay-at-home mandates, the record low interest rates should provide quick support for refinancing activity, said Sam Cater, Freddie Mac's chief economist. The size and depth of the secondary mortgage market is helping to keep low rates at record lows. And these low rates are driving higher refinance activity and have modestly helped improve purchase demand from their extremely low levels we saw in mid-April. Refinancing volume probably will rise to about $429 billion in the second quarter, and Fannie Mae said in an April 10 forecast that would make it the highest since 2012's fourth quarter, according to data from Mortgage Bankers Association.